Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a get ready with me for rehearsals video. I just turned on the camera and I didn't know what I was going to do. I just went with it. So as you can see here, I'm just priming my face. I'm using the Nivea Post Shave Balm, one of my favorites. And now I'm priming my eye with the NYX Pro Fit Waterproof Eye Primer. Hold on, it's a mouthful. And I'm just setting that primer into place with this Inglot Shadow in the shade number 328 and I'm just using a large fluffy brush to set that and next I'm going in with the shade 337 as my transition shade and I'm just using an angled eyeshadow brush for this using that same brush I'm going in with the shade number 335 with it which is this gorgeous like sunset orange color like a burnt orange color which i just think is so pretty i absolutely love that so i'm just putting that in and above my crease next i'm going in with the shade 329 which is a dark chocolate brown color and i am just putting that over the orange I'm also putting that into the inner and outer corners of my eye to create kind of a halo effect. And taking a fluffy brush, I am going back into, sh into the shade 328, which I used to set my eye primer, and I am just blending out all those harsh edges because we can't leave any harsh edges. Now, this did take a little bit of time, so don't be worried if it takes a while to blend it out. I just wanted to make sure everything was nice and smooth. So next I'm going in with my foundation, and this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation in the color Ivory. And I'm just dotting that all over my face, and I am buffing it in with a brush. I didn't have any sponges today because I'd left them elsewhere, sadly. And this brush has no name to it that I know of. I just found it online. But it's a, it's a good brush. I, I did enjoy it. And it's pink. So, you know, it's, it's, cute, it's a cute brush. Yeah. Next, I'm going in with concealer. And this is the NYX HD Concealer in the shade Porcelain. So I'm just putting that under my eyes. And I'm blending that out using that same foundation brush. And to set it, I'm using this much, oh my God, can't, can't speak, much loved powder from Makeup Revolution. And it's a rose pink porcelain powder, I think is what it said on the back. But I'm just putting that all over my face to set everything in and blending it out. So next into my, well, onto my brows, I'm just using my usual collection brow palette kit thing. And I'm just using a little angled brush from Essence, which is really, really nice. And I'm just speeding through this because everyone has seen brow tutorials. I have one somewhere, but it's a very, very old one. And I'm just setting my brows with this what used to be clear mascara so i'm going into this gorgeous gold shade in the number 25 and i'm just patting that on with a flat shader brush and i'm just blending around the edges so i don't have any harsh lines and then i thought i lost a bit of the color so i went back in with that shader brush and the same gold color just to get a bit more intensity so back into the shade 329 that dark chocolate brown color and a pencil brush i'm just putting that under the eyes and to blend it out i'm using the shade 328 on the same brush just to blend out any harsh edges next i'm lining my eyes with the nyx vinyl liquid liner in the color black and I'm so bad at lining my eyes on camera. I always put this little mirror in front of my face. And then I remember there's a camera, so I lean forward. Yeah. Go me. 
So on to my lashes, I just used my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which is my favorite at the moment. I always use it. So I coat the lower lashes and now the upper lashes. So I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in the shade Black Bean and I am just lining my eyes, my waterline and tight lining as well. Tight lining is hard. And next I am going into the Sleek Solstice Palette, which is one of my favorites. And I'm just taking the yellowy shade and highlighting the inner corners. So next onto bronzer and I'm taking this Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Caramel Toffee. I'm putting it on my cheeks and my forehead and down my neck. So next into this uh, blush palette from Makeup Revolution in Sugar and Spice, I'm just taking the first shade onto a stippling brush and blending that in. So onto highlight, I'm going back into the Sleek palette and I'm just taking the orangey shade and I'm putting that on my cheekbones, tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, and I'll put that in the center of my forehead and my cupid's bow. Also, I didn't add lashes because I was going to rehearsals and I just didn't feel like it. So if you want to add lashes, by all means. So to set that into place, I'm just using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And spraying that all over. Don't I look attractive? And next I'm taking this mm, e.l.f. lipstick in the shade, what are you called? Oh, I can't read it. I'll leave it down below anyway. It's on a black sticker. It's really hard to read. So anyway, that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to check me out on social media. It's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All of that is Face of Kira. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.